Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Ehsan Chishti, your host for today. Uh, welcome everyone to uh, the uh, employability training program organized by AMP, Association of Muslim Professionals. Our topic for today is interview uh, techniques and the uh, speaker for today is Dr. Ansari. I would now uh, do a short introduction about AMP. Introducing AMP India Foundation. AMP India Foundation is a not-for-profit organization registered under Section 8 of Companies Act 2013 for providing voluntary social services to meet the needs of underprivileged individuals. So the uh, areas in which AMP works are education and vocational training, employment support, medical relief, economic empowerment, student mentorship and guidance. Employment Assistance Cell is one of the projects which AMP India Foundation deals into. We all are witnessing AIF success as one of the most admirable national level NGO striving for three E's, education, employment and empowerment. Keeping in mind AIF's core objective of supporting the underprivileged, promoting education and creating economic empowerment, AIF had launched a special project with the name of AIF Employment Assistance Cell during its initial stages of formation. Today, it is one of the core projects of AIF. Our major activities include, but are not limited to conducting job fairs, job drives, employability training programs. Employability training programs we conduct in colleges, but due to the pandemic, we now do it online. All our activities are now uh, done online. Skill training programs, job fairs, Job fair is one of the flagship projects of AIF and we have successfully organized 43 job fairs till date. Every job fair has participation of minimum 50 companies and 2000 plus candidates. AIF has organized job fairs in the past in collaboration with Thane Police, Aurangabad Police, West Bengal Minority Finance Development Corporation, Andhra Pradesh State Minorities Finance Corporation and other reputed NGOs. These government organizations and NGOs collaborate with AIF as local partners and take care of local ground promotions in the job fair arrangements. AIF invites corporates like TCS, Asian Paints, Reliance Group, Cafe Coffee Day, McDonald's, Team Lease, Tech Mahindra and other reputed corporates in the job fairs. Job drives. Job drives are similar to job fairs but are organized on a much smaller scale compared to job fairs. In a job drive, we typically invite only up to two to three corporates who have specific openings and advertise their openings in order to attract suitable candidates. We conduct job drives every week throughout India in collaboration with other consultancies and NGOs through the help of our chapters. These local partners do ground promotions. In case of multiple openings, we also organize special job drives for a corporate wherein we invite only one corporate and help them fill their requirements. ETPs, Employability Training Programs. AIF's Employability Training Program or ETP has been developed to assist job seekers find the rob, uh, right job at the right place at the right time and to become the right fit in a present day modern organization. Our ETP trainers are seasoned professionals who have in-depth understanding of employability training and committed to investing their valuable time, resources and knowledge in grooming the, the candidates. We team up with colleges in different cities and conduct ATPs there on a regular basis, usually once every month. Skill training company tie-ups and candidate mobilization. AIF has partnered with reputed skill training companies like Tata Trust, Whirlpool, Tech Mahindra Foundation, etc. We also have arranged skill training melas in Mumbai by inviting around 20 training companies to hire and train unskilled candidates who could not pursue their higher studies after 10th and 12th standard. AIF has mobilized candidates for various skill development courses like AC technician, mobile repairing technician and solar engineering under Skill India mission in centers all across India. Our achievements, employment assistance achievements, 43 plus job fairs, nine online job fairs we have done during this pandemic 275 plus job drives nine online job drives 220 plus employability training programs 25 online etps 
new initiative of uh, amp india foundation empowerjobs.com connecting right talent with right opportunity empowerjobs.com was launched on 6th december 2020 it is a unique job portal with comprehensive offerings introduced by amp india foundation for job seekers especially those hit by covid pandemic i would now introduce our speaker for today dr ansari pulikkal abdul aziz he is currently working as post doctoral fellow and guest faculty at jamia millia islamia new delhi he has completed phd in human rights from aligarh muslim university on the issues and challenges of migrant workers in kerala before i hand over the session to him i would start the uh, by reciting a short kirat auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin ar rahmanir rahim maliki yawmiddin iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in ihdinas siratal mustaqim siratal ladzina an'amta alayhim غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين امين صدق الله العلي العظيم for all our participants i would like to mention uh, dr ansari would be conducting the session and whatever doubts and queries you have regarding today's session which is interview skills and techniques you will have to write down your queries and questions only in the q and a section and uh, at the end of the session dr ansari would be answering all those questions one by one i would now request dr ansari uh, to please start the session assalamu alaikum and uh, good afternoon everyone so uh, i'm sure that everyone is searching for the job and uh, they want to get engaged and get into the real job and the career okay today we'll be discussing of uh, rather discussing about uh, the interview skills techniques how to win the interview and win the job first one first uh, for me uh, when uh, we was uh, going for the interview or we are taking it to the internal panel uh, the first thing that employers consider is your resumes at the cover letter and make sure that this has to be flawless and the free from the formatting errors grammar and spelling mistakes because uh, the interviewer will be having a glance of a, a maximum 15 to 30 seconds in your resume or the cv or whatever it is so make sure that it is free from the errors then the resume should also be titled uh, according to a specific job for you have applied or you should emphasize your relevant and emphasizing the content for the word relevant relevant work experience and academic qualification to the specified job for example if uh, x and y is applying for uh, any job at infosys or the google or microsoft he should not he should be uh, putting into his work experience and uh, what other computer language and that c c++ command etc what all things he knows he has to put the things first and what all research experiences regarding that he has something like that and if he's applying for uh, something like research assistant for the university he should put your academic qualifications and the research papers first we'll discuss in this okay so this that then uh, i mean the hundreds of applicants for a job if you are strong enough then only your potential employer will call you for the interview otherwise you will be the odd man out so it is more than a selection it's just like a rejection style but like you'll be having a 15 plus resume for the five post so it's all about you can choose the best so make sure our resume is the best second thing okay now uh, once you set up the interviews the resumes will be focusing on your types of interviews again okay. 
Uh, okay, once you get into the interview mode, uh, the traditional mode is one-to-one -one interview. The person will be there, interview will be there. Uh, it's usually in the HR level. Okay, they will call you and he will interview and he ask you to tell me about yourself and tell me about your weakness and why we want to select you and how you will contribute to our career, etc. Then other is the screening process and uh, especially in this COVID-19 scenario or the life of COVID-19, uh, we all are living in a this kind of moment. Okay. Uh, there is a phone, then panel interviews, MATLAB, uh, few calls which I got from the capital. Uh, most of us uh, have recently selected as a uh, editorial reviewer. Okay, what they have done is that it's not possible to get into one to one person. They'll make a call and they will analyze you, okay, how things they can do. And the second step, they will ask you for come up to the video or Skype interviews. So be confident and make yourself present well. And what all things you know, make uh, a sort of as a strength, weakness, opportunity, strengths, and make your strength more confident and speak up. Then uh, wherever the interviews you go, you can see uh, through for the panel interviews. It's kind of similar, but uh, uh, whenever you go, there will be a group of persons who will be sitting there. And uh, especially when I go to the interviews of the IAPs or IAPs, Okay, if you got selected maybe in the future for a PG, and they want to make sure that they want to know that how well you can perform in a group. So we should be more emphasized and should be uh, we should know how to lead the program or lead the debate with your, your and better way. So something like that. So when you are invited for the interview, be sure you are ask what type of interview you have with and how what all things you have to do that for example if you're going for this type of video interview make sure that you have a good kind of laptop and if you're going for any uh, phone make sure that you have a uh, mobile connection and all these things and may be prepared for that uh, before that we'll be discussing what all things you have to prepare in the next slides well pre-interview preparations first one Research the organization. Of course, uh, for any interviewer, they are having your CV. Okay, they know well about you. You have written all these tasks. But what do you know about the organization or the interviewer you are meeting? So, their corporate values, the product they are selling, the service offerings, and the latest. Make sure you know uh, for a few things. Find it. I will make a sense of that. Uh, whom you are going to interview? Who are you? Uh, who are you meeting up with? And get a sense of your interviewer and team's background through the social media. For example, uh, if you're going for the Google uh, in backlog or the Amazon in uh, hyperloop company, just check out the HR managers. Where are they from? Are they from the international or they're from the India? which areas they are from, what are the kind of questions, and go back to the YouTube and find it, okay, what questions they are asking for, so and so forth, reasons for not getting selected. Make a notebook of and find out all these things, and make sure that this will increase your success rate. You will get to know, uh, for example, uh, the so and so record. Uh, is very tough if you find that again how they are putting up the questions how we can face the interviews all these stuff that is uh ask for the further advice uh, to your network to your recruiters for the for the the most important thing is that be own time, be your team. And uh, in that uh, very interesting, uh, most of the people since that star is laid back. Because it will uh, show the incompetence of your plan, minimum 15 to 15. 
minutes or one. Occasion. Again, welcome for the occasion. Follow the official dress code, then form must dress cleanly. Uh, okay, then plan ahead. Prepare two to three questions to the interviewer. Uh, it will make you a good conversation and the chance of getting selection is very high because the interviewer says that, oh, he is smart, he is good enough to get into the job. Then everyone wants uh, a quality person and nobody wants a below quality person in the job. So make sure that uh, minimize the distractions. It's uh, okay. Most of us, uh, when are we uh, speaking, there may be a call is coming or the message. Make sure that your phone is silent. And if it is possible, try to put it in your flight mode. Okay. Then uh, first impression is the best impression. Uh, you should give a smile and uh, firm good habit. Then, Trust for the success. Okay. There as a number of dresses. We can see at the slide that uh, the conversation, I understand, uh, trust up with the codes, uh, dress, uh, and all these stuffs, shirts, and the sari and shelwa comes. So the woman, and because it shows that you are not much professional. We We make yourself a good professional. Way. Then uh, I polished. Doctor Ansari, uh, sorry to cut you in between. Hello. If you are wearing a drum. Doctor Ansari? Yes. Uh, your voice is uh, uh, not that uh, audible. If you yeah, can please tell place me. your mic near your mouth so it will be uh, audible for the other as well. It's a little uh, oh, slow. Thank you. Is it okay, right? Yes, now it is okay. Yes, yes. Yes, it is okay. Thank you. We can hear it. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, uh, yeah. And so, because uh, just imagine yourself uh, putting a girl or any lady coming up with a, a too many jewels. It's not a professional way. Then no strong uh, the perfume because you are, you don't want to be close them. You don't calm. You should be well groomed and minimal makeup. Then uh, your breast, shirt, and the blouse. So whatever it is, it should be good. Looks and pat your for the woman. Then. So that's why there is a saying, as you all know. It's not about what you say, it's about how you say, how you put up the things that makes a turning point. Well, we're coming back to the slide. Uh, how to shake hands? Smile. Make sure you're, uh, you're smiling good and uh, make a good eye contact as you shake your hands. Okay. And extend your hands and your palm should touch the palm of the interviewer. It's just like this. Okay. Then uh, use of a firm uh, handshake, adjust your grip to the other person's hand and make sure you have adjusted your grip to the other person's hand and hold the handshake for a two to three seconds. It should not be just like this. It should not be like this. I have seen so many interviews. Uh, it should be like this and make sure that uh, you have already done it for two or three seconds. It says that, okay, it's just like up and down pumping motion. So. Seems that you have a good bond with the interviewers. So, 
carry a tissue or uh, in your pocket if your palms are sweaty and wipe them dry before you go to the interview because uh, whenever we go for the interview uh, there are some friends who suggested that no uh, my farm is wet and i cannot do that no worries take a tissue or a handkerchief just do that just make it. it's just like a learning stage you should do that okay then body language as i said 67 percentage 67 percentage of the manager's sight according to the reliable sources okay lack of eye contact is the biggest mistake made by the candidate ever make so make sure that you have a good and proper eye contact of course i agree that there may be some nervousness there may be so many other reasons but make sure that you have a good eye contact and 26 percentage of the hrs hr executives reported that of 26 percentage of the applicants in the interview has been rejected because they have rejected too much they might be just shivering oh i don't know oh uh, uh, because uh, they don't know what to do next they might be shivering they might be less confident so make sure that you are good and confident how to do the things how to deal with the questions answer to the question there is nothing to lose there is only things to get and 21 percentage 21 percent of the interviewers reject the candidates because of the weak handshake and 39 percent 39 percent of the interviewers are put off because they fail to smile just imagine you are sitting on the other end and you are getting 50 candidates CV for a five or four post, and uh, you are saying someone is just like this, someone is just like this. Will you take them? No, I am sitting at the interview board. I'm sorry, I won't. I was sitting, I was selecting someone who is smiling, is having a good smile, and who is confident and who can be good, uh, positive wise and create something good, positive impact to this uh, organization. So Turn yourself into the and put yourself into the shoes of the interviewer and think what he wants. If there is a in business, we have studied about the customer approach. Go for that. Then do's and don'ts. It's an interesting one. You should learn. Okay. And carry one items only. Because uh, whenever the combination of bags, briefcase, I've seen so many people who's having lefty hum and whenever they ask for the certificates they will be taking one two and it will be just like uh, they will be putting so many certificates okay and it seems uh, messy don't go for that plan ahead a small bag that's more than enough okay and, and your certificates and the cv and whatever it is should be arranged well okay and never smile nervously someone is a don't do that. Okay, don't do too much smiles makes uh, them feel that you are nervous. Don't do that. Then shoot down. Many employers say that or reported that the last thing they remember that the back of the candidate's shoes. Uh, you can do if it's up to the walking style of the body language of the interviewer. If you're confident, just Uh, it makes a feeling that you are holding something back or oh, you are not confident to say that but you are putting something back in yourself so never do that well uh just slightly and that's perfect just sit like this slightly not fully okay and make sure that uh, you are confident enough okay and contract and expand it should probably uh like this just make it open. It says that you are open-minded. You are ready to accept. You are ready to conversation. You are ready to talk. So that's uh, interview is just like a good conversation. Like a good conversation between yourself and the interviewee. And make sure that you are be confident. And I've seen some of them when you ask the questions, tell me about yourself. So they say that, uh, sir, uh, I'm from, uh, don't do that. Just be confident. And say that, sir, I'm from Kerala. Okay, so I've done so and so. I've so and so experience, and I'm sure that if you take me, I can put up these things. I can do these things. 
it is my confidence because I have already done in my previous employment or the volunteer internship. I have already done this. So make sure that you have done that and uh, <coughs> touching your face or the hair. It's not a good sign. If you are having such kind of things, try to avoid it. Okay, then uh, when they ask you to tell me about yourself, of course, the interviewer will ask you to tell you about yourself. So be professional and focus on one story. Because uh, if you see uh, the previous ex president of uh, before Trump, okay, now the John Biden, before the, uh, before John Biden, it's Trump, okay, before that there was Barack Hussein Obama. Believe me, he was one of the first African or American or okay, black president of the United States of America. And imagine what turned him. He used to connect his story to the United States of America, just like that. Turn your story, okay, into a story, your life into a story and connect it and make it concise and specific. What makes you apply to this so -so company? Uh, for example, you're applying for the Google, eh? make a story and say that, okay, even before the child, uh, when I was a child, it was my dream to get back to it. Even I have seen uh, my daughter too. It must be a little bit, it has to be honest. Okay, if their story is true, filled with truth and honesty, it sounds very good. If there might be someone from your friends or colleagues or from your neighbor who have already worked in the Google and who have approached a good position and who have done much than what you can imagine, just take that. Just look around, think around, you will get that. Then connect that story into the position which you are applying for. So the chances of getting is higher. Then top 10 interviews question. Rather than remembering, rather than memorizing, rather than remembering someone else's idea of good answer, it is much more useful to be able to think. Think your own and come up with your own experiences. I will say more than responses, it should be from your own experience. So that it shows that, okay, you have gone through this. Then what do you know about this organization? So first thing we have already done in the pre-interview process, the research organization, which you are applying for. So you have a good idea to see. Then why do you want this job? You should say that, sir, I have so and so qualification. I have done this much. So I'm sure that I can get this job. And if you get me this positions, I can turn this company to so and so position. I can give so much, uh, this much things back to you because it's our organization. Be confident and make sure that you, you are not over smart also with that. Then give an example of the situation where you did it meet your goals or objectives. Of course, you maybe get a chance to ask. Be honest. And be polite for these answers. Then give an example of how you overcome that situation. That sounds good. Then where do you see yourself in the first Five years, uh, in the next five years. Well, if I am going for a job in any uh, technology, IT, or whatever the company is, the first question is that uh, if you ask me, I see, uh, I see myself as the manager and so on to this company. I just spending, uh, I'm sure, I read in your vision and mission okay, of the company headline that you are opening up a new branch in Bangalore. So I'll be getting that. So it sounds that you know about this company, what is the vision and the mission of the company, why they are want to open up a batch of the back road, and you are planning ahead there. It shows that you are more confident and they will take you. The chances is high. Then why should we give you this position? You should have a honest and a good answer for that. Then a few more questions. Give us an example when you faced with a big challenge. Be sure that you are ready to answer that. Then, it's an interesting question. Do you like working in team? I've seen uh, some of my friends who have answered that 
you know, I would like to travel alone and I would like to work alone. Never, 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 never say like that. Okay, maybe uh, make sure that you are, uh, because company cannot be uh, stand alone. There is a good number of team members. So make sure that how you have created some impact in team building and achieving the goals through the team. And yes, you can, yeah, allowed to be uh, part of team. Uh, we have created so actual changes. Make sure something like that. Then first thing you would change if you were start to work. You can say something uh, from your heart. It should be a honest answer. That should be a good change, a positive change. Okay. Then prepare the star method. Okay, we'll discuss what is star. It is situation, task, action, result. Okay, understand what the skills uh, that the company considers critical to success there. Okay, for every company they need, they require some skills. Just imagine, write out your star, star for each skill on your resume. Make sure that you are put at the same thing in your resume. Situation, what is the situation you or your previous employer faced? Task, what task you were achieved in that situation? What action you had taken? Uh, and results, what were the results of these actions? Make sure that you have something to say regarding that. Then talk interview questions. Uh, tell me something about yourself. What do you know about your company? What do you know about the position or the designation you are applying for? If you are applying for the JR Junior Research uh, Manager, JR um, or the Customer Research Manager, you should know what the position you are applying. What are your strengths and weakness for that? Then the most important question, why the company should hire you? Why the company should? Then uh, <coughs> how will be evaluated during the my first three months? The questions you should ask. Okay, what do you working for this company? Tell me about the culture. You can ask that. Then you can ask why is this position vacant or why you have put in this question or what are the next steps. Then answering tips. Whenever you are answering these tasks, make sure you are having good eye contact. Then avoid uh, <coughs> that uh, something like this. It's just like mm, basically so and so. Just try to avoid that. There are some natural fillers. It's good if you watch a movie into the front series something like that then smile then be courageous be courteous graceful and profess tell story yes then uh, you should never these things in your interviews never do these things first one your primary reason for job hunting is that the present or the ex manager is racist, sexist, unfair, very poor leader. Never do that because it shows that you are not apt for this job. Because you'll be going for another company and you'll be criticizing my company or the swan so interview you are going. So the Competitor or the HR expert will be thinking, having a thing. No, I should not hire him because he is criticizing. Uh, even he is, he or she is not there, or his immediate supervisor is not there. You should not do that. If there is something, okay, just be quiet. Just be, just step aside on that. Then <coughs> uh, this job is just one of the several for which you are applying. Uh, not your first choice going to the interview. No, you should not do that. Even though there may be chance, it may be the least option, but you should not say that. Then you have an inside contact or the relative who has given you lots of inside information regarding the organization, leadership, workplace. Never do that. If you <coughs> apply for the United Nations job or the Amnesty International or any good organization, they'll be having a question that do you have any of your family member? working in this organization if you are putting up yes 
the chances of getting is less. So make sure that you should not do that. Then biggest mistakes. Having no questions to the interview, there is no much uh, chance. And textbook answers. 11% of the interviewers, 11% because, because of that, they, they have a textbook answers prepared. It should not be something like that. Then 6% of them, we all know not to arrive late. But 6% of the hiring managers or the HR executives, it was still a <coughs> common mistake. Then being arrogant. Uh, there is still such a thing as being too confident. 30% of them asked. Uh, this was the biggest making mistake they have made. So never be too arrogant. And 39, it is one of the largest figures. 39 percentage of the HR executives claimed that interviewers said that arriving to the interview room unprepared was the biggest and the largest and the common error. Make sure that whenever you are going to the interview board, you should be prepared about the questions, professional, technical, and knowledge. Then, <coughs> ask the following questions. Dress code for interview. Then, time, location, and name of the interviewer. Then, for overseas interviewers, IST, Indian Standard Time. For example, if I'm having an interview at 7.30 in IST, they might be thinking about the GST, that means green this standard time, it's in UK. So make sure that if there is any phone company, make sure that you are asking about some what time in India, or you should check it with Google and make sure that is it this so and so time in India? Yeah. For example, the interview might be on 2.30 in the afternoon at UK, Your our time is 7.30, it's five hours left. So make sure these things, then the search company details, etc. Then scout the interview location. Start planning your route to the interview site. Enter the address into location, into the Google map, <coughs> ways, and so and so. And check it in the tablet or the phone. Plan alternative routes to the interview location. Drive location, parking plans, building assets, etc. Uh, wherever you go to the, any cities or the metro cities or the cosmopolitan cities, there may not be any back, uh, parking plan. So do that plan also. <coughs> Sorry, arrive 15 to 30 minutes early. Never arrive too early. It will make you lazy. So arrive 15 to 30 minutes. That's perfect. Then practical advice. Use common sense during the interviews. Turn off your phones and always take notes during the interviews. It shows that you are more conscious. You are carrying their words. Look confident and calm. Use 50-50 rule. Matlab, listen and speak. Don't be eager to speak. They want the answers from you. Of course, I agree to you 100%. But listen to the questions they asked and think what they need. Speak, give them that. Then body language. <coughs> be, sorry. Be aware of your body language all the times. Focus on keeping eye contact. Use a firm but reasonable handshake. Then sit erect, lean straight, and show the inter interest. And share your attention. Engage when answering the questions. Try to engage having a good note. It seems that you are interested in that uh, job. Okay. Well, end a end on a good note. Always thank the interviewers for the time. If you really want the job, tell the interviewer no uncertain terms. If you're going for the job and you're saying that you are expecting so and so high salary, which is not in the market terms, you will not get the job. Then collect cards of everyone. That means it's fine. Then follow up. Send follow-up notes to the interviewers. Make sure thank your emails on handwritten notes. It's depends. If not selected, request feedback areas where to. For example, if you are not selected, okay, fine. You can say, okay, so and so you are not selected. Okay, fine, it's enough. It happens. So just put up an email 
Dear sir, thank you so much for the email. But I would like to know what were the, my issues, failures, reason for my failures. If I have not done much in the interviews, I want to develop it. I want to recollect and appear for the next interview in the same position. That's why. So I'm sure you have a high chance of selection. <coughs> Evaluation process. Uh, the section increased. Yeah, it's uh, about the evaluation teams and all. So, these are the things I want to dis discuss with you. So, now, uh, with the permission of the AMP team, the floor will be opening on the questions. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Ansari. I would now uh, uh, read a few of the questions uh, from the participants and uh, I would also request the participants that if you have any queries related to today's session uh, regarding interview techniques, kindly uh, write it down in the Q&A section. Uh, Dr. Ansari, there is one question from uh, Ms. Saima Tehzeeb that uh, students from B.Tech, M.Tech or engineering background are going up for... Uh, jobs uh, which are not related to their field okay. uh, uh, for an example there is an opening into sales uh, which is for byju's company like byju's okay. so uh, the company if they ask uh, that you are not from sales background and you are an engineering candidate or you are a mass communication candidate then why do you want to go for sales so what should be the ideal answer in such situation Uh, the B tech or M tech or the engineer background students, uh, you'll be going for the Baidu's uh, sales app because uh, you are not getting much money or you're not getting something for your living earnings. So I suggest you go back to the LinkedIn and indeed find the best suitable jobs for you. There are n number of works out there. Okay, which things which is related to your engineering background? One who have already finished their mechanical, uh, that means uh, M Tech. There is no sound in going back to the sales job because uh, it is just like selling their apps. Okay, it's just like for an eight to uh, twelve standard student, there are some kind of apps which they are focusing on the max and so and so things. So once you sell, uh, you'll be getting a small amount of incentives. I will personally suggest you don't go for that. If you have no other terms, you can go and you can say that, okay, uh, it's a marketing and the uh, interview is competition. It's a world of competition. I need some time to set myself. So what you need is to sell your apps. I can do that. I'm from an engineer background. I've done this. So, and so. so give me some time. I can prove myself. All I'm asking you just an opportunity that I can do that. You should be more confident when you're entering into the line of sales because uh, sales is an interesting and the more competition one too. So Saima, I suggest you that uh, the first thing is that look for other opportunities, LinkedIn, uh, Indeed, and so and so, or just find <coughs> your alumni or your seniors where you have working, where they have worked, try to get their contacts. Uh, in today's world, most of them are in LinkedIn. Just find it or just check your uh, training and placement officers in your university or the college you have done. Okay, uh, send them your CV and ask them, sir, I need to get a job. You will get the same amount of uh, as a sales executive in that engineering field. So once you have finished that, it's, you can show this as your experience. The sales experience does not sound you very well. It's my personal experience, maybe good for you. And if you need this job, of course, you will get it. If you are confident to say that, okay, I can sell this, this, things, of course, they will select you because they need to get the things saved. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Ansari, for yeah. the suggestion. <clears throat> yeah. I would like to add uh, to your suggestion that uh, if suppose uh, there is no option available for this particular candidate, uh, you can also uh, give the interviewer uh, an answer that uh, uh, there in future, if uh, uh, I want to grow, uh, there are multiple options for sales engineers. 
so there is uh, there there might be uh, you know more options for me if i opt for sales job and i would like to experience sales job as well and uh, i would like to try a hand in this job and want to see my potential through this job opportunity uh, sir there is one more question from uh, mr sheik abdul rahman uh, his question is how to prepare for technical interview any tip for freshers Uh, okay. First and foremost, I'm not from a technical background. Uh, I'm from a social science background. So, if you ask me, uh, which are the interviews which I have taken uh, along with the seniors and the colleagues? Which, uh, sorry, as I was saying. So, uh, what I will suggest you that if you are applying for a Google or Amazon or whatever it is, make sure that uh, find your Uh, networks or the friends or someone who already worked there, okay, and ask them that, sir, what are tips you can give me? I'm sure that uh, some of my friends, uh, I'm from a human rights social science background. Some of my friends are working there, okay. So that I'll be just uh, mailing him, I, dear so and so. Please tell me that what are things. They will be saying that okay, you should be having a good knowledge about uh, the computer typing and uh, that one software might be a uh, C, C plus plus, for R, R, etc. Then <laughs> you might be having a good data interpretation skills. So make sure these things arranged into a good uh, set of skills and apply according to that. It is just like a customer approach. But club uh, shake out of mind. Imagine uh, you are. Uh, may I know which post you are going to apply? Can you please turn on the I go. You just type it down. Which post? Which organization? Thank you so much. Uh, there is one question from Mr. Shahnawaz Alam. Can you point out three things uh, which will increase the employability of a person? Very good question, Shahnawaz. Uh, improvise your skills. Okay, and do proper networking. First thing is that wherever you find yourself being, just improvise that skill. And get proper networking. मतलब and uh, I will just link them. So and so person, so where they are working. Uh, if I want to get into the work at so and so organization. <laughs> For example, people write slow network. It's an NGO or Amnesty International. I'll try to make a good friend to get that. Genuine advice is the person who are already there. If I want to work into AFP, okay, I will ask them, sir, what the vision and vision of. Make sure you are having all that skill sets. Okay, you will not be. Uh, You will be selected based of your skills and what the AMP or the organization will get from you. So make sure you have achieved all these things. Okay, and uh, if you are not selected in the third or fifth interview, never mind. Because uh, once they get interview, you will learn a lot. It's an interesting. Uh, you'll be learning by through um, doing all these things. Am I clear, Shanavas? Ah uh, yes, thank you very much. Ah, uh, there is another question from uh, Mr. Shatriya Kunal, sir. As you said, uh, uh, to do a warm handshake with the interviewer, is it necessary to do uh, now as well? Because we all know it's Corona time. It may give a bad impression. Ah, uh, don't go for a good handshake at this point of time, especially in the COVID nineteen. Okay, for that this is more than enough. I say good wish. That is enough because at this point never go for the handshake because it's not the right time. It's uh, maybe we'll be coming up this uh, COVID issue. 
maybe in a couple of years, one or two years. So after that, you can go back to that. Okay, thank you. Uh, there's one question uh, from uh, uh, Miss Ba Ansari. I would like to know how to improve in English in order to be successful in getting a job that requires good English and how to deal with it. Okay, uh, you want to know how to improve the invoice your English, right? Uh, there are four things, four ways you can improve your English. Listening, speaking, reading, and writing. So, for the listening, I'll ask you to listen to the what are things which uh, watch some English news, okay? And maybe uh, you have, I don't know which position you are, okay? You may be from a science background or a social science background. Apply, listen to the programs which is related to your area. Or if you are having a sports person, listen about that. So the kind of language which you listen, you can be able to speak. And uh, it's all about English, it's all about vocabs. Uh, if you know about the, that much language, it's a uh, vocabulary. Try to get a good Oxford dictionary. Write down now. Uh, learn 10 words per day. 10 words per day, 10 days, 100 words. 30 days, 300 words. In a month, you are learning 300 words. It is in a 10 month. You'll be learning that, and it's a passion. You'll be so next year. It's just a uh, speak, uh, and then you're maybe you're from a good uh, graduate students or from the early organization. Try to interact with them, <coughs> and also before going to the interview. Make sure you are sitting into the front of the mirror and speak with that. Tell me about yourself, how your body language, how confident you are, all these things matters. Yeah. Thank you very much. I hope. Yes. There's another question from Mr. Shatriya Kunal. How to deal with interviewer when the question is unknown? That means if the, he does not know about the question, he does not know the answer, uh, how to deal with that? Uh, it's better to be honest rather than beating around the bush. If you know the question, just answer. If you don't know the question, say that, uh, well, uh, I know that it's an important question. But I'm so sorry. Can we want just like that? Say that, okay. Will not be to express. <coughs> Hello. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Ansari, uh, for giving your valuable time for today's session. I hope uh, our uh, participants uh, would have uh, uh, got all your suggestions and noted down in detail. And we would also be sharing this video session on our uh, YouTube uh, channel. And if there are any other questions related to today's session, uh, I would request uh, all the participants to drop an email to info at ampindia.org. And we would be happy to forward your questions to Dr. Ansari so that he can uh, answer it uh, through his vast experience which he holds. There are uh, many takeaways, sir, through your uh, session which you had conducted. We look forward to having similar programs in future. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, looking forward to it.